Here is the finished product. Just got it turned on and cooling down. And here's what it looks like. Got those wires just running through that conduit. And then silicone that conduit. Drilled a tight hole for that. And you got your two wires that come out the back. Compressor right there from the freezer plugs in and into the wall. And that's it. Hopefully, this is a quick, simple breakdown of how to wire the temperature controller uh, using a extension cord from Walmart. It's like eight dollars. Um, this is a 14-3, so it's got three strands or three wires inside. And I'm gonna start by showing you the temperature controller and how I wired it. Uh, this is your power leg. And I've labeled this as P for power, so I don't get it confused. And then this is the control leg on the cooling side. And then your uh, thermometer would plug in here. Either way, it doesn't matter with the wires, uh, number three and four, just plug them in there when you get ready at that point. Um, and you can see here that I have colored this uh, neutral wire, it was, was all white. I just put black on there. It's just a reminder, it's no longer gonna be a neutral wire. It's just gonna be a switch leg. So once this has power, power will run through both of these wires unlike what a neutral wire would do. So your power comes from the wall right here it's going to come up and inside the keyser and it's got to power your unit. So you're going to need your power wire here that will tie into the power wire that feeds your controller. So twist those two together but you also need power to feed your switch leg so you're going to bring either one of these from your switch side off the unit and you're going to add this together just like that and you're going to use a bigger wing nut because you got three wires there so next this switch leg is going to have to feed power to your keyser which will plug into this cord into the cord here so then I'm going to come over here and bring the power wire that's going to feed the keyser that will plug into that. Put those two together. The wing nuts, so I got two wires there. I have two ground wires left over. Just like this and this will ground your keyser. And then you have three neutral wires left over. So you're just going to run all three of your whites together. One comes from the wall. One goes out to the keyser. And one comes over to feed your, control, your temperature control unit. So you're going to put those three together. Use a bigger wire nut. And there you go. Simple as that. And then this will be inside this junction box. It'll have a cap on it. And then I'm going to run any hosing, or I'm sorry, any wiring that's uh, visible inside the keyser is going to run through flexible conduit out the back. And the only thing that's going to be coming out of the back will be this plug here and this plug that runs to the wall. So the keyser will plug in here and this plugs into the wall. Hopefully that was simple and quick and easy for you to follow. If you have any other questions, please make sure to leave them in the uh, comments below. I'll do my best to get back with you. Thank you.